let's move to the next question in this question we have to find the value of k if the point p 0 comma 2 is equidistant from the points a 3 comma k and b k comma 5 that means we have a point p with coordinates 0 comma 2 similarly we have two more points a and b it is given that the p is equidistant from a and b that means the distance of point p from a is same as distance of point p from b so using this condition we can get the value of k here we have the point p which is 0 comma 2 and the point a is 3 comma k b is k comma 5 since p is equidistant from a and b the distance ap is equal to distance bp therefore by distance formula distance between any two points is the under root sum of squares of difference between x coordinates and difference between y coordinates here x coordinates are 0 3 so here we have 0 minus 3 whole square and the y coordinates are 2 and k 2 minus k whole square Similarly, the distance PB is under root sum of square of difference between x coordinates which is k and 0 that is 0 minus k whole square and y coordinates 2, 5 which is 2 minus 5 whole square. Squaring on both sides we get negative 3 whole square plus 2 minus k whole square and on right hand side we have negative k whole square. 2 minus 5 is negative 3, so negative 3 whole square. Let's simplify it. Negative 3 whole square is 9. 2 minus k whole square is 2 square, which is 4, plus k square, negative 4k. And on RHS, we have k square plus 9. On both sides, k square plus 9, k square plus 9 get cancelled. We remain with 4 minus 4k is equal to 0. So on solving, we get 4 is equal to 4k the value of k is 1 therefore k must be 1 and this completes our solution let's move to the next question in this question we are given three vertices of a parallelogram a b c d and their coordinates are 3 comma negative 4 negative 1 comma negative 3 and negative 6 comma 2 and we have to find out the coordinates of vertex d and we have to find out the area of the parallelogram ABCD. Let's work out the problem. Here the vertices of parallelogram are A, 3 comma negative 4, B, negative 1 comma negative 3, and C, negative 6 comma 2. And we assume D with coordinates x comma y be the vertex. We have to consider a parallelogram. Let it be A, B, C, D and the diagonals intersect at point E. One of the way to get the solution is to find the value of vertex D. One of the way to find the solution is to use the property of parallelogram. What is its property? In a parallelogram, diagonal bisects each other. That means one of the diagonal passes through the midpoint of the other diagonal. So here E is the midpoint of diagonal PD and diagonal AC. Therefore E is the midpoint of AC and it is equal to midpoint of BD. We know that the midpoint of any two points is the sum of x coordinates divided by 2 comma sum of y coordinates divided by 2. Here we take A and C their x coordinates are 3 and negative 6. So 3 plus negative 6 divided by 2 comma their y coordinates are negative 4 and 2. Negative 4 plus 2 divided by 2. It's y coordinate. Similarly, E is also the midpoint of diagonal BD. So we have B and D. Its sum of x coordinates is negative 1 plus x divided by 2 and its y coordinate is negative 3 plus y divided by 2. Let's equate their values. 
before doing that we simplify here 3 plus of minus 6 is minus 3 upon 2 negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2 divided by 2 it is equal to negative 1 negative 1 plus x upon 2 and negative 3 plus y upon 2 to find the value of x and y we equate their respective ordered pairs that means x coordinate is equal to x coordinate on right hand side and y coordinate is equal to y coordinate on right hand side both denominators 2 2 get cancelled we remain with negative 3 is equal to negative 1 plus x on transposing negative 1 to left hand side we get negative 3 plus 1 it is equal to negative 2 similarly we solve it here negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 and negative 3 plus y on right hand side therefore y is equal to 3 minus 2 which is 1 vertex d is negative 2 comma 1 therefore we get the vertex d negative 2 comma 1 and here we have to find the area of this parallelogram how we can find out the area of this parallelogram area of this parallelogram the product of base into height and area of parallelogram in terms of diagonal is the half of product of length of diagonals that is BD times AC. So to find its area we have to find the distances AC and BD. AC is equal to under root sum of difference between x coordinates and difference between y coordinates that is 3 minus of minus 6. Here we should be careful while we are dealing with negative signs and difference between y coordinates is 2 minus of minus 4 whole square and it should be in square root so 3 minus of minus 6 is plus 6 so 3 plus 6 is 9 and 9 square 2 plus of minus 4 is plus 4 2 plus 4 is 6 9 square is 81 plus 36 and it is equal to under root 170 similarly length of diagonal BD is under root negative 1 minus of minus 2 whole square plus negative 3 minus of minus 1 whole square since its x coordinates are negative 1 and negative 2 and its y coordinates are negative 3 and 1 by simplifying we get minus of minus 2 is plus 2 so plus 2 minus 1 is 1 whole square and minus 4 whole square it is equal to 1 plus 8 1 plus 16 it is equal to under root 17 therefore area of parallelogram ABCD is equal to half of under root 117 times under root 117 it is equal to under root 2009 upon 2 since the area is in square units so we have here square units therefore area is under root 2009 upon 2 square units let's move to the next question in this question we are given a figure and we have to find the area of this shaded region and also its perimeter here the lengths of side AB and BC are 28 and 21 centimeters respectively. Here BCD is a quadrant of a circle and AC is a semicircle by taking AC has diameter. Let's work out the problem. Here we have a right angle triangle ABC. And we are given two sides and we have hypotenuse which is unknown. And it is also a diameter of semicircle AEC so we have to find out its radius to get that we know that square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of the square of other two sides we have to find out AC so AC square is equal to AB is 28 centimeters and BC is 21 centimeters since it is complicated to find their squares we write in factorizations it is complicated to find its square roots so we factorize the numbers 28 and 21 here 7 times 4 is 28 and 7 times 3 is 21 so by taking 7 square common we get 4 square plus 3 square and it is equal to 
25. 16 plus 9 is 25 and it is 5 square. So we get AC square. Here the value of AC is 7 times 5 which is 35 centimeters. Therefore, radius of semicircle AEC it is equal to half of hypotenuse which is 35 upon 2 centimeters. Similarly, radius of quadrant of a circle. Therefore, it is equal to side BC which is 21 centimeters. So, by using these, we can find out the area of shaded region and also its perimeter. Our question is to find the area of shaded region. How we get the area of shaded region? Here we have a right angle triangle ABC and a semicircle AEC. This is the total area of the figure. So to get the area of shaded region, we have to remove the area of quadrant of circle. Then we get the shaded portion. This is the shaded portion. This is exactly equal to our shaded region. So by removing area of quadrant from total area, we get area of shaded region. Total area is area of triangle plus area of semicircle. Therefore, area of triangle is half of base into height. Here base is BC and height is AB. Similarly, area of semicircle is half of pi r square. Here radius is AC upon 2 and the area of quadrant is 1 by 4 pi r square. R is BC. So 1 by 4 pi r square. Let's simplify it. The value of BC is 21, AB is 28 centimeters. The value of pi is 22 upon 7 and AC we get is 35. And the value of BC is 21. So here we have 21 square. By simplifying this, we get the product of 21 and 28 is 588 divided by 2. Here 2 goes in 22 11 times. Similarly, 7 goes in one of the 35 5 times. So 5 times 35 divided by 4 minus here also 7 goes in 21 3 times. Therefore, on numerator we have 22 times 21 times 3 divided by 4. We take 4 is the LCM and we get 2 times 588 which is 176 and 5 times 35 is 1925 and this product is equal to 1386 by simplifying this we get the area which is 1715 divided by 4 meters square therefore area of this shaded region is 1750 divided by 4 meters square now we are going to find its perimeter here perimeter is nothing but the boundary covered by the shaded region its boundary is ad and we can find out ad by removing 21 from 28 since the radius is 21 we get ad and here this boundary is the circumference of quadrant of circle similarly this boundary is the circumference of semicircle ad is 21 minus ad is 28 centimeters minus 21 centimeters so its value is 7 centimeters and the circumference of quadrant is 2 pi r here r is bc since it is one fourth part of a circle we divide with 4 and circumference of semicircle is 2 pi r here radius is ac divided by 2 which is 35 upon 2 since it is also half part of a circle we divide by 2 then we have 7 plus 2 times 22 upon 7 it is the value of pi 21 divided by 4 plus 2 times 22 upon 7 divided by 35 upon 4 here we simplify we have 7 7 goes in 21 3 times similarly here numerator and denominator contains the same factor 4 so 4 goes into 1 times and in 22 11 times therefore we get 11 times 3 which is 33 and here 7 goes in 35 5 times and here we have 11 times 5 which is 55 sum of 7 
33 and 55 is 95 centimeters therefore its perimeter is 95 centimeters and its area is we already got it which is 1715 upon 4 meters square this completes our solution let's move to the next question here we are given a figure which is a racing track whose left and right ends are of semicircular the distance between two inner parallel line segments is 60 meters and the length of each segment is 160 meters and the width of track is 10 meters we have to find the area of the track that is the area of this shaded region so let's draw this diagram and find its area here we have a racing track whose left and right ends are semicircular if you look at the figure we will get two rectangles that is a rectangle a b c d and another is e f g h both are equal rectangles so we have to find out the area of track area of track is the area of these rectangles plus area of in between semicircular act and here we are given the length of rectangle which is 106 meters and its breadth is equal to the width of track which is 10 meters so by using this we can find the area and here we have area of rectangle is equal to area of rectangle EFGH 106 times into 10 since its length is 106 and breadth is 10 it is equal to 1060 meters square let us denote this area with A1 and now we have two semicircles this is the inner semicircle and given the distance between these two lines is 60 meters so the diameter of inner circle becomes 60 meters and we have to find out the radius of inner circle so its radius becomes 30 meters so the radius of inner circle is r1 which is 30 meters similarly we have to find the radius of outer circle how we get it here we have the width of track which is 10 meters so by adding 10 meters to the radius of inner semicircle we get the radius of outer semicircle let it be r2 and r2 is equal to 30 plus 10 which is 40 meters so we have got the radius so we can easily find out the area in between the semicircular ends and the area of track in between semicircular ends is obtained by removing area of semicircle with radius 30 from area of semicircle with radius 40 let's do that here we have area of semicircle with radius 40 is pi half of pi 40 square since its radius is 40 similarly area of semicircle with radius 30 is half of pi 30 square by taking half of pi common we get 40 square which is 1600 minus 30 square which is 900 let's substitute the value which is 22 upon 7 half of 22 upon 7 times here we have the difference is 700 numerator and denominator 7 is common factor so 7 goes in 700 100 times similarly 2 goes in 22 11 times therefore the area is 1100 meters square let us denote this area with a2 here we have got a2 here we have a1 so the area of this track is here also a1 since both are equal and it is also equal so the area of shaded region is a1 plus a1 plus a2 plus a2 which is 2 times of a1 plus a2 and here we have a1 is area of rectangle and a2 is area in between semicircular ends so here we have area of triangle which is 2 times area of rectangle plus area in between semicircular ends that is 2 times a1 plus a2 here we have already got the value of a1 and a2 area of rectangle is 1060 meters square so 2 times and we have got the value of a2 which is 1100 so by adding these two 2 times 2160 and it is equal to 4320 meters square so this is the area of this track and this completes our solution let's move to the next question in this question a solid is composed of a cylinder with hemispherical ends if the whole length of the solid is 
104 cm and the radius of each spherical n is 7 cm, we have to find out the cost of polishing its surface at the rate of 1 rupee per decimeter square. So let's work out the problem. According to the problem, we are given a solid and it is composed of a cylinder with hemispherical ends. And the whole length of the solid is 104 centimeters. And the radius of each spherical end is 7 centimeters. So let's draw a simple diagram here. And this is our solid. And we assume h is the height of the cylinder. And we have radius of each spherical end is 7 centimeters. So here we have sum of radius of one spherical end plus height of cylinder and plus height of radius of another hemispherical end is 104 centimeter. Therefore, h plus 2r is equal to 104. By substituting the value of r, we have h plus 14 is 104. From this, we get the height of cylinder which is 90 centimeters. So here we have to find the cost of polishing whole surface area and given the rate of polishing 1 decimeter square is 1 rupee. So the whole surface area of this solid is curved surface area of 1 hemisphere and curved surface area of this cylinder and curved surface area of this hemispherical end. Surface area of a sphere is 4 times pi r square since it is half part of a sphere so its surface area becomes 2 pi r square and here surface area of cylinder is circumference of base circle into its height that is 2 pi r h and 2 pi r square is the surface area of another cylinder. By taking 2 pi r common from these three terms we get 2 pi r times r plus h plus r that is h plus 2r. We already know the value of h plus 2r. It is the whole length. So let's substitute their values. The value of pi is 22 upon 7 and radius of each spherical end is 7 centimeters. The whole length is 104 centimeters. So numerator 7 denominator 7 are cancelled out. We remain with 44 times 107. It is in centimeter square. Here we are given the cost in decimeter square. So 1 decimeter is equal to 10 centimeters. So 1 decimeter square is equal to 10 into 10 centimeter square. So we convert here by dividing this value with 10 times 10. It get in decimeter square. And it is equal to 45.76 decimeter square. Then the cost of polishing the total surface area is equal to surface area into the rate of polishing and it is equal to 45.76 times 1 rupee. Since we are given the cost of polishing 1 decimeter square is 1 rupee. So total cost is 45.76 rupees. And this completes our solution.